<laughs> not much sleep? Well, not bad. Long night. Long night. A lot of cups, right? Yeah. It's too bad I'm not one of them, but the exact opposite. Oh, what do you need to see uh, this game improvement-wise from your team? Um, just trying to finish the game out. You know, we're at 29. Can't get like that many points. So we get like 30 or something points in like five minutes. Let them come back in the game. So, um, I think execution-wise, you know, we can get a little bit better on offense, a lot better on defense. But, I mean, no, we didn't do so much scouting on that. We're going to do a little bit more for this team. You know, right now we're just trying to focus on ourselves, you know, not too much on that. Team. What was this team coming to get? Is it where you thought they would be a week before the season? Yeah, I think we're, I think we're better along now than we were you know, the year before, especially because we don't have anybody injured. So, you know, that's a positive. Uh, right now we're just trying to get better as long as the season goes. Uh, like my previous three years, we'd never found our peak. So like later on in the season, so we're fine. And yet you'll have to, um, at some point, you'll have to kind of relearn how to play once Laurent's out there with you too, right? Yeah, it's going to be tricky because uh, we get Laurent late in the season and Kipper. And, Kipper. and it's going to be a totally new game for both of them because, you know, Laurent, he, he picks up quite a few fouls. And, you know, Kipper, he's never played a college game. It's going to be new to both of them, especially out of college. College rules are changing with how they're calling fouls, so it's going to be an adjustment. How have those guys looked in practice, though? Great, awesome, really physical, strong, and they they can score the ball and defend well. Think about know, Laron's a, he's a, he's not just a player; he's a significant player, right? Oh yeah, I mean, he's very energetic. You know, he does all the hustle, hustle plays, does all the dirty work. You know, he just brings that he just brings that motivation and physicality with this play. You know that we need. How did you guys grade out defensively on Sunday, and what do you got to do better in that area? Oh, not good. Not good at all. But, I mean, I think it's just trying to stay ourselves. I mean, that's, this is our first time playing against a different opponent other than ourselves and in front of people. You know, so this, this is an adjustment for everybody. Which once we get used to it, we go. Does playing against somebody else in that environment teach you new things maybe didn't know? Focus areas you guys need to work on? Yeah, it does. Just because, you know, we get used to playing against each other each and every day. You know, so once you play against somebody else, you know, that's when you can really grade out and judge how we are as a team. How many positions did you play the other night? Just two. Just two? Yeah, just two. Two and three. Three and four. Three and four? Yeah. Turnovers were a bit of an issue in the last game. Is that something that's been happening, or is it just kind of just one game, getting used to playing with each other in the game atmosphere? I think it's just one game, and I think part of that's adjusting to the new college rules. I think, you know, they're... They're straightening down on certain calls, like you know, moving screens and stuff like that. A lot of the turnovers we have, we've been having lately, is just getting the offensive fouls, not necessarily just giving the other team the ball. You know, we had a couple sloppy ones, like a couple in transition. I can remember specifically, but I mean, you know, I think that's just the excitement that we had, nervousness, you know, getting our juices flowing. That's all. After the game, Mav said that you know, Wash U was really kind of looking to deny you the ball. They had every opportunity. Did you, you know, feel like you had a little trouble maybe you know, finding some, some open room or were they pretty, pretty much locked uh, in on you? Or? Yeah, I, I don't think it was a secret that they knew who I was. But you know, I mean, I, I'm probably going to have to be used to that all year round, probably. You know, just that's why I'm glad we have a lot of offensive fire. Probably they try to take me away. We have other people that can score the ball, you know, well on our team. So, I mean, you no, know, it's not. I, don't, I think I can still find my spots even though they do that. I was wondering maybe some things that you have to do a little differently when teams make a, a concerted effort to keep you away from the ball. Well, do some things off the ball, like set good screens, get all the teammates open. Or just cutting hard and drawing the drawing the defense's defense's attention, which will free up my uh, free up my team, free up my teammates. So hopefully they'll be open shots because of that. How come nobody can hang on to a pass from T. John Lucas? I don't know, man. I mean, I, he's a really good passer. He's one of those passes that he'll hit you late. You know, so they don't expect a pass from you. You don't expect some certain passes from him. He's a really good passer, especially for a freshman. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Uh,